Well, it's official. You know what's official when Forbes calls you out? Disney's Star Wars box office profits fail to cover cost of buying Lucasfilm. And do you know why? Because you woke everything up. We have been telling you for years. Box office profits generated by Disney Star Wars movies have fallen 2.8. I wet my lips for this. Billion. Not million. Billion. Short of covering the media giants. Purchase of the sci-fi sagas creator. Lucasfilm according to analysis of recently filed financial statements. Disney bought Lucasfilm for $4 billion in 2012 and soon gave the green light to a new trilogy of Star Wars movies, which teamed up rising stars Daisy Ridley and John Boyega with Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford and the late Carrie Fisher, who headlined the original movies more than 30 years earlier. All of the stars aligned when The Force Awakens, the first film in the new series, was released in 2015, according to industry analysis. Industry analyst. Box office mojo, it grows to staggering 2.1 billion, causing Disney to commission two spin-off movies as well as the two sequels that were already planned. However, as the series continued, there was a disturbance in the force due to an over-reliance on computer-generated effects, false, and the lack of gritty, quirky characters who made the original movies smash hits. Not really exactly. We know what it was. <clears throat> In 2019, The Rise of Skywalker, the third installment in the new trilogy, hauled in around half as much at the box office as The Force Awakens, though the series soon had a renaissance, just a few weeks before the first case of You Know What 19 was discovered in December 2019. I didn't realize it, it was out in 2019. Is it that why it's called that? Mm. Disney debuted its first Star Wars streaming series, The Mandalorian. It was an instant success thanks to the unlikely pairing of its protagonists. The series is named after a gruff armor-clad bounty hunter, played by Pedro Pascal, who tasked the tracking down the family of a pointy-eared green alien called Grogu. Baby Yoda. <sighs> Photos of the cute character went viral because of its resemblance to the beloved Star Wars saga. Oh, Sage Yoda. <laughs> the timing couldn't have been better as it is thrust into the Mandalorian. <laughs> thrust the Mandalorian into the spotlight just as the world went into lockdown, viewers were stuck indoors for the majority of the following year, leading to a surge in subscriptions to the Disney Plus platform. The Mandalorian was watched by more than more than any show. And according to the Nielsen ratings, it racked up 5.4 billion minutes of viewing time during its seven week run, peaking at 1.2 billion during the week uh, its finale aired. It didn't just appeal to fans, but to critics, too. Audiences awarded The Mandalorian a 92% rating on review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes. Willis critics uh, went even further with a 93%. In fact, the industry liked it so much that it was nominated for six primetime Emmys. Mm, mm, mm. And winning in 15 categories. That is crazy. That is crazy, man. 
Well, unsurprisingly, it was renewed for two further seasons and even spawned its own spinoff series, The Book of Boba Fett, which premiered in December 2021. The only reason the fourth, that a fourth season of Mandalorian hasn't gone into production is that a movie based on its two stars is due to be released in 2026. It doesn't stop there. The show's success spurred the development of a suite of Star Wars productions. Since it debuted, three other streaming shows have been released and three more movies are in development in addition to The Mandalorian and Grogu. The declining interest in Disney's initial trilogy of movies seemed like a distant memory and The Mouse has made the most of it. Last month, Disney released six, a 67-page presentation singing the praises of the chief executive, Bob Iger. One of the key boasts was about supposedly spellbinding return on investment generated by the franchise that Disney acquired under Iger. Hmm. The presentation gives the impression that Disney's Star Wars trilogy generated 2.9 times return on the purchase of Lucasfilm as that figure is presented next to a timeline of key events in the production of the, the company's history. Their, their stock must be going down now with this coming out. Okay, they lie. If they lied like that, nope. They include the release of the, yeah, you, you wish you had voted differently now, don't you people? They include the release of Disney's movies and its acquisition of Lucasfilm, which is the only milestone stone marked with a star, according to the impression, in the fact that at the other end of the timeline is the Star Wars logo and a photo of Mandalorian with a little green friend. My little green friend. However, buried in the fine print is the revelation that the purchase price of Lucasfilm isn't even included in the return on investment calculation. Ooh, I'm telling. Instead, it's purely based on the box office performance of Disney's Star Wars trilogy. It's two spinoff movies. Merchandise, DVD, and Blu-ray sales. As revealed, the methodology is questionable as Disney based the ROI on the revenue generated by the movies. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Rather than the profit like it should have been done. Using the revenue rather than the profit artificially inflates the result. Oh my god. Even this wasn't enough for the media giant. So it also forecast the revenue that it expected that the Star Wars movies merchandising. Yin, yin, yin. In other words, Disney hasn't actually received the revenue that it used to calculate the return on investment. In summary, despite seeming to do so, Disney's presentation doesn't actually reveal whether its Star Wars movies have covered the cost of its purchase of Lucasfilm. There may be good reason for this. <laughs> Analysis of more than 800 pages of company filings has revealed that the cost of making a Disney's five Star Wars movies hit a total of $2.1 billion, peaking at $567.3 million on The Force Awakens. However... That's just the start. Oh my God. I do not feel like reading the rest of this. It's, I, you guys, man. Oh my God, Disney. Well, you know what? Just start making good stuff again. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. And if you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts on this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share.